like this. I got to look at myself the whole time. That's good. I like that. And now we have Casey Opitz. Uh, use your raise hand function if you want to uh, ask a question. And Casey, we will start with Andrew Hutchinson. Casey, uh, you were behind the dish, I think, at LSU when Connor uh, had his first game back after a while off and it didn't go well. What, what have you seen that's different in him since that outing and, and to today? I actually wasn't behind the plate for that. I was in the dugout, wow. but uh, still a good question. Still a good question. I I just saw confidence out of him. I mean, he came into the game and he was ready to go, and all of his stuff was really working. And I mean, it looked like it was working at LSU. It just didn't come out with that, you know, killer mindset. And today, I could see it in his eyes that he was ready to go from the jump, and that's that's what made the difference for him. That's my bad, Casey. Should look that good. up. Um, <laughs> Uh, we we haven't seen Heston Toll a whole lot this year, but when we have, it, it's gone pretty well. What what makes him so effective? Um, you know, it's awesome to see him come into those situations because that's another piece that we just discovered. And um, you know, with freshmen, it's like, can he do it in this situation? It's kind of iffy, and we're, you kind of worry about it. But he's just come in in big situations and just done the same and just thrown strikes. But that's 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 the difference with him. He throws a lot of strikes, and you know, he has his fastball. Um, that he can put where he wants and keep it away from barrels, and then his slider is really good and it's really deceptive, and he throws it. He throws it well. Just one more about another pitcher. Uh, what was working for for Caleb Bolden tonight? Um, all his pitches. You know, the first first two, I think the slider was kind of iffy. He wasn't, you know, starting it towards the middle of the plate, which is tough because then it's it's so good that it freezes guys. But if it's a ball, then we're not going to get too many swings. But it, he started to start it more at the plate, so it was a little more deceptive, and then it got got swings and misses. Okay, we're going to go to Bob Holt. Sorry, it took me a second there to unmute. You know, me, Mister Technical. <laughs> um, hey, I saw you you kind of hugging uh, a kind of there after the game, and you said something to him. Do you mind sharing what you said to him? Uh, I think I just said that's you, and I just kept repeating that. Like that's the, that's the guy. That's the guy I've seen in the past, and that's that's what he can do for this team. And he showed it today, so I was I was pumped for him. You know, people are used to seeing a guy come in and close out three innings, but obviously it's always been Kevin. Um, what did it mean to y'all to the team moving forward that it was Connor this time? Uh, it was huge. You know, the whole team's behind Connor. He's a guy that we all root for, um, just because he works so hard and he's he's a great dude, great teammate. So. To be able to hit, have him come in for those three innings and, you know, just, just shut him down and throw strikes and be really effective, it, it got us fired up. And you threw out, I think the last two games, you've thrown out a guy at third. Um, I can't I, I think it was the, the last the last game, right, that you threw out the guy at third. Mm -hmm. um, you think, are you surprised people keep running on you? I mean, I like it, so I'm not going to say I'm surprised. It's it's fun for me. It's It's a challenge. I like challenges. And then Arkansas has, you know, done a lot of great things in its baseball history. Never won the SEC tournament. What would it mean to you? How fired up are you guys to, to play for it? And what would it mean to y'all to win it? Yeah, I mean, we're really excited. We want to win every game we play in. Um, you know, it's we came into this and we just wanted to keep winning and keep winning and be here for a while. And now that we're there tomorrow, we might as well win the whole thing. And the Tennessee series obviously was a really good series. You know, three one three one run games I think it was and could have gone either way um just what do you remember about that and what do you think it'll be like tomorrow yeah they're just they're a really solid team um really good lineup and tough to pitch to and you know we were effective at their place but I know they're going to come in fired up um you know we just got to match their energy and you know come out there and it's going to be a good ball game tomorrow Including the guy you threw out a third, uh, threw out McCants trying to advance the second. So you, you guys are raised two of their base runners in the second and third, playing with kind of a makeshift defense. I mean, with different guys playing different spots. Um, what did what, you think about that? How big was that to cut down two of their base runners? Yeah, I mean, that was really big. The McCants play, you know, then they have guys second and third, I believe, if that happened. Um, maybe just second. I'm not too sure. But that was big. I mean, 
we can play anywhere. We can play guys anywhere. It's something that we kind of pride ourselves on as guys to be able to be versatile, and you know that's what we're showing. Okay, thank, thanks, Casey. Yep, thank you. Okay, Casey, that's uh, all we have for you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank y'all. Blue pig.